ready for this? Hey, Grandma. I have an assessment on homeostasis, but I don't really understand what it is. Can you help me? Of course I can. Homeostasis is the process by which organisms maintain a relatively constant or stable internal environment for body cells. It consists of two stages, detecting changes from the stable state and counteracting changes from the stable state. This basically means our insides keep the same temperature, water content, salt content, glucose levels and pH levels. Look, this is a feedback loop that occurs in humans. This one demonstrates the maintenance of internal temperature. Humans need homeostasis to keep the optimal environment for enzymes to function within cells. This is done through the regulation of body temperature, which is mainly done by the skin. The human body's optimal functioning temperature is around 37 degrees. In order for this to happen, thermoreceptors detect changes in the skin and blood temperature. Then, the hypothalamus in your brain causes other changes in your skin and body to return your body temperature to optimal levels. Detecting, monitoring and causing changes in internal temperature forms a feedback mechanism with the hypothalamus acting as the thermostat that triggers internal changes. How does the body know when to do homeostasis? Well, homeostasis consists of two stages. First is detection. Receptors detect a change in the environment which is set off by a stimulus, information that provokes a response. Secondly, affected organs, muscles, glands or hormones in plants work to counteract these changes. Therefore, homeostasis is a continual process as the body is constantly being exposed to stimuli in the internal and external environment. The word homeostasis makes it sound so complicated, but it's actually just how we keep ourselves alive. That's right! In biology, we mostly use negative feedback loops, which is when the process seeks to counter the change and maintain equilibrium. Let's watch this video on the Australian red kangaroo. The red kangaroo has three strategies to maintain its internal temperature at a point of homeostasis. This mammal is an endotherm, meaning it uses its own internal metabolic activity to maintain its optimal temperature at approximately 36 degrees centigrade. The first strategy is thermoregulation. Red kangaroos can thermoregulate themselves due to their insulating fur coat. It is pale in colour and reflects the light. Behaviourally, the kangaroo will seek shade in hot weather or cool themselves by evaporation loss. For example, licking their forelimbs, panting and sweating. Reproduction is also a strategy in maintaining homeostasis. Kangaroos are well adapted to their environment and are capable of shutting down the reproductive system for various reasons. This is called embryonic diapause. For kangaroos, there is no definite breeding season, and they commonly breed all year round. Reproduction is a homeostasis strategy because it allows females to reproduce at maximum speed, regardless of external conditions. In the excretory system, the kidneys of the red kangaroo concentrate water to a high degree when temperatures are greater. This gives the kangaroo the ability to cycle urea, by returning it to the fore stomach where bacteria can utilize it, resulting in less water loss during excretion. Do plants do this too? Good question, Sonny. Most living organisms perform homeostasis to keep themselves alive. This includes endotherms, like the red kangaroo, and plants, like the mangrove. Watch this. Mangroves live in areas of high salinity where ordinary plants cannot survive. They face daily changes in salinity due to tides. Mangroves have various salt tolerance mechanisms to deal with changes in the environment in order to maintain a stable internal state. The river mangrove performs salt excretion through glands on their leaves. A network of channels and pumps move sodium ions between plant cells to the glands. After the sodium solution becomes concentrated and builds up pressure in the salt gland, the gland excretes the excess salt as a concentrated solution. Through this process, it is able to regulate internal salt levels, thus performing homeostasis.